as he swims around you can just see bits of that skin just flying off. If we get this dude full, then uh, he won't feel the need to attack something uh, new. We're going to dive right into this video because it's a little bit more serious and uh, we just got to kind of get moving here. The other day, I walk down into the fish room and I turn on all the lights like I normally do. I start with the uh, 500 gallon uh, smallmouth bass pool. I save this 150 gallon smallmouth bass tank for last. I work through the rack. You know how it works, I turn on the lights. The reason I save this uh, smallmouth bass tank here with Millie in it for last is because She's very aggressive. Anytime I get near the tank, she thinks that I'm trying to feed her. I mean, yeah, she thinks that I'm trying to feed her. So I checked on her like I normally do, and then I checked on the uh, Wild Caught Channel catfish that's in here. If you don't know about that catfish, here's a clip. There he is. See it okay? It's a big fish. Yeah, <laughs> stick him in there. Oh, there you go. That's an entrance. <laughs> Oh, got the big old bass out there too. Wow. Wow. It looks huge in there. Look at that. So yeah, I went out with one of my buddies and his daughter. They caught me this catfish. It's been in this tank peacefully with Millie for about eight months, honestly, and I have had zero issues like this. Three days ago, like I said, I walked down and this is what I saw. So here's Millie. Again. Just a ridiculous smallmouth bass, super, super aggressive. Usually if I stick my hands in the water, you know, <laughs> she'll, she'll take a shot. Um, but she's a super awesome fish. However, this is what she did to the channel catfish. Not, not an ideal situation. The uh, top fin there is gone, all the skin, the fin there is gone. The tail is about half gone. You can see all just the loose skin. Um, I don't know what has changed. These two have been getting along great for, like I said, eight months. But uh, she has, in three days, taken this fish from perfectly healthy to scared, skittish, and abused. So, obviously I need to get this fish out of this tank. An ideal situation would be to have a quarantine tank set up for any sick fish. You move the fish over to there, you treat it with some medicine, it heals up, you move it back to the tank like this. I don't have a tank set up that can handle a 14, 15 inch channel catfish, other than the one that's already in there. So, and I obviously can't release it into the wild or anything like that, so I only have one option. And that's to move this channel catfish into my 500 gallon pool pond. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Zach, why would taking the channel catfish out of a tank with one smallmouth bass and putting it into the tank with a much larger smallmouth bass make any sense? Well, it's obviously a lot bigger. There's a lot more room in this pool pond for fish to get along. But the other thing is, Ken here has a buddy. There it is. Ken has been living peacefully with this, uh, say, seven inch bluegill for as long as uh, the channel catfish and Millie have been together over here. We need to go ahead and get this really, really beaten up channel catfish out of this tank. We're gonna move him to the pool pond with Ken and uh, hope that since Ken's, you know, already kind of used to having someone in his tank, this channel catfish will do okay. But uh, before we can do that, we need to uh, run to the store and buy something that I don't have. So uh, let's start there. All right, at Walmart. And that's what we need. So, nothing crazy, but obviously those uh, little like blue nets that you get with your normal aquarium stuff are not gonna be big enough for uh, this channel catfish. So, got a little dip net. This should be perfect for uh, 
getting him out of there and uh, into the pool. So uh, let's pay for it and then we'll just go back home. All right, so we are back from the store. What I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and feed Ken. Um, I'm going to drop, I have a bunch of little minnows. I'm going to drop probably two dozen of these minnows in there. Let him eat. Let him just go nuts. That way he's full. Uh, he'll be kind of relaxed. Hopefully after it gets a good after he gets a good meal. Maybe that's just speaking for myself. But um, hopefully, if we get this dude full, then uh, he won't feel the need to attack something uh, new. And that uh, little bluegill will actually get to eat too. So let's go ahead and drop some minnows in here and prepare him for his new tank mate. Cool, mate. that will never get old. Yeah. As he swims around, you can just see bits of that skin just flying off. So, got that out. All right, so I'm trying to watch really closely. Uh, Millie is watching me, trying to figure out what what I'm doing. But uh, Ken has uh, he swam right up to the catfish, um, kind of looked at him, but didn't actually do anything. He didn't uh, attack or anything like that. So uh, I'm happy to see Ken's not just uh, immediately trying to attack him or get him out of any of his spots. Of course, as I say that. But uh, yeah, so far so good. Um, catfish is starting to swim around. I'll spin this around so you can see. That's a big catfish. I didn't even realize until looking at them together that they're about the same size and Ken is very big. I haven't measured him in a while, but um, so I'll just let him go, kind of watch him for a little bit, um, and then uh, we'll check back in here 
uh, in a little while make sure everything's still good. If you happen to see my last video here on this, uh, the wooden pond and the, uh, the walleye and the rescue walleye and all that, um, one of the things I forgot to mention and a lot of you uh, pointed out in the comments was uh, the yellow bullhead that uh, Ben Milliken also rescued from that uh, spillway and brought back and put in this pond. I didn't show him in that video. I uh, honestly kind of forgot about him. I'll go ahead and give you a shout of him. He is doing great, super healthy, very uh, chill. Let's see if we can get him out of here without freaking him out too much. There he is. So, still getting used to uh, the pond, but uh, as long as he's got a kind of quiet spot to hide, he does great. I know, bud, I'm sorry. But there you can see the, the yellow. But yeah, he's a super cool fish. I'd call this a success. I'm thrilled, honestly, I, you know, setting this video up, I didn't really know what to expect. I was hoping that I'd be able to put them in there and things would go well, but uh, I still kind of thought Ken might take a few shots just to show him who's boss. But uh, so far, so good. Sweet. Poor Millie the jerk is now uh, all alone. You got this whole big tank to yourself? Yeah, you don't seem to mind. <laughs> I love her. Alright, so it is now 24 hours later, it is the next day, and I wanted to give you one uh, last kind of peek on this guy. Everything is still going great, the catfish is actually looking even a little bit healed up, so uh, take a look. So yeah, um, still doesn't look great, but you know, for one day you can tell it's actually started to heal just a little bit. So pretty great. I'm super happy that this uh, this transfer worked out. You never know when you're moving fish from one tank to the other, especially when uh, you know that one back there ooh, is the same type of fish as Ken. Um, but yeah, seems to work out great. So we will call this video a day. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you have not already. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Subscribe if you are not already. But until the next video, I will see you soon. Bye, fish. See you later. See you soon.